Hi everyone. In the final part of the digital fabrication series, we're actually going to look at how to unroll uh, the strips we extracted from our mesh geometry. Um, for this exercise, I'll be picking off where we left off uh, using the stripper function where we divided the mesh surface uh, into two sets of uh, strips uh, that, um, that was running either uh, parallel to the mesh uh, curvature or perpendicular to the mesh curvature. Um, so in this one, we, I'm actually going to use um, these strips that run uh, perpendicular to the geometry itself and going to make the offset to be, um, we can actually set this to be 0 0.4 to make the gaps a bit more narrower. And then uh, what I did here was uh, actually to uh, create a custom unroller function uh, that you see here. And once we actually activate this, uh, what it does is it uh, creates a workflow here um, that goes through all of these geometries and unrolls them. And the unrolling actually uh, happens inside of it. And then I just um, spread these using a square grid. So the square grid will actually take uh, one individual piece. Um, but what we have to also keep in mind is uh, where these pieces are in the, um, in the model. So um, to do that, we need to use uh, uh, tags. And these tags are quite helpful to actually group with the geometry itself. So you can actually uh, create a series of uh, text dots that um, will tag individual strip pieces. And you can also use the same texts um, to build, um, to keep track of the strips themselves. So this is, for instance, piece number zero and piece number zero is located somewhere here and you can actually see um, I think it's um, it's right here so this this guy uh, these are concentric circles so they they kind of go all the way around uh, but you can see where it's located in the final piece um, let's look at number 13 so number 13 closes this way and if you look here number 13 uh, looks like this when it's unrolled um, one more thing I added to uh, this script is, uh, apart from uh, tagging these pieces uh, to keep track of them, uh, we can also use the geometry itself uh, that is unrolled and then deconstruct its faces and place a hole at the middle of uh, each of these faces. So these faces um, could be cut um, through the CNC or the laser cutter so that these will actually define where you want the connections to happen. And um, I got the centroids and this threshold here would be uh, your radius for the circle. So if you want a smaller radii, you can actually play around with this, but this normally goes along with the type of tolerances uh, for your connections. If you're using bolt connections uh, or rivet connections, these radii might change. So I'm going to keep it at 0.2. And uh, in the final phase, uh, we have this um, uh, baking function. So you get the surfaces and then you can actually um, bake these strips out. So if I, for instance, um, uh, let's cancel this, let's bake these strips and then bake the holes. And what you would do is you, you can also bake the tags. So um, this would be actually piece number 13, but be careful to actually select them in um, groups. So if I, for instance, make this into a group, um, this piece would be um, like laid out onto a laser cutter and cut. Uh, we don't need to extract these pieces uh, in the middle because uh, this will be one continuous uh, material. So if you, um, I, I don't know if you want to fold a harder material, of course you can um, unroll these lines here as well, but um, technically these strips are meant to be cut along the boundary and these holes um, are basically calculated um, connections. So uh, we can also do the same thing uh, for the other strips. So if I, uh, for instance, um, I'm just going to delete the files that I baked. Uh, one the nice thing about this one is also it keeps track of all the pieces. So we have 31 strips. You can also calculate how many uh, you have how much material you would need and let's see I'm just going to connect 
this one here and uh, it basically changes the direction I'm going to delete these strips it places these tags and these strips look quite different so you can see uh, they actually go parallel to the mesh uh, geometry so they have these kind of folding folding edges uh, but the same workflow um, actually works uh, with uh, whichever direction you choose and we can also uh, get the same holes in the center of these strips and these quads are actually shared between the two strips so they would actually um, align uh, with each other so um, uh, that's basically it in a nutshell so uh, we actually started with um, a parametric mesh generation algorithm uh, then moved on to kangaroo relaxation extracted mesh strips and looked at how to unroll these and um, look at uh, basically uh, tagging them coordinating the data and placing holes for digital fabrication so let let me know if you have any questions or if you would like uh, these sorts of tools if you would like to use them for your own projects um, let me know in the comments below and if you have any other questions about uh, this segment or the previous segments um, of this workflow uh, digital fabrication workflow and other types of topics that you would like covered uh, please let me know in the comments below and I would also um, like you to like this video and subscribe to the channel that helps a lot uh, so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you uh, in the next one